I'm going to share with you a leader material that I think is amazing that I see very few anglers incorporating into their arsenal. And that material is single strand tieable titanium. Now you can get this stuff in really light pound tests down from like 10 or 15 pound all the way up to, you know, even like 70 pound. But a lot of this stuff in that 15 to 30 is where I tend to use it most. I'm going to be using 30 pound in this particular example. Now, when we go to a lot of places in Canada, when we're fishing for pike, Woo! Oh, oh man! Ah, get it over this here! This is just, we have a rainbow here, we are catching gigantic fish, and we are just hammering big pike. It is absolutely insane. This material is amazing for, you know, fishing uh, baits like a, a jerk bait or a walk the dog style topwater. I also use it all the time in jig fishing or even, you know, throwing rattle baits. And the thing with this material is one, it's thin, and then two, of course, it prevents a lot of bite offs. Most of the time when you see people running up to these places or flying into these places in Canada, they're going to have a really stiff wire leader or they might be fishing with really heavy fluorocarbon. And the problem with that is that often it is not allowing you to get the most action out of the lure that you possibly can. Now, of course, this isn't just limited to fishing in Canada. If you fish many of the northern natural lakes, they're stuffed full of northern pike. And using those really light pound tests in areas where you're not so concerned about you know, finesse fishing, they can be great ways to save you a ton of baits. So I'll show you how to connect this to your main line without using a swivel. A swivel can work at times, but often what happens with a swivel is it has weight, and that can also change the action you want to get out of a bait. So I only use a swivel in this situation if I was using something like an inline spinner that would be causing line twist, or if maybe for some reason I was using like a jigging wrap or something and I was fishing vertically that might be, might be spinning. So the knot we're gonna tie is basically an Albright knot to connect the main line to the wire. So you can see this titanium is flexible. It's not like traditional wire where you would, you know, you would bend it and it would be stuck in one position. You can really manipulate this stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and make a loop with this titanium. Now allow yourself enough tag end so that you're able to hold on to the wire without the loop coming undone. And then from there, I'm going to put my main line through this loop. Now, something to keep in mind when you're tying this knot, the heavier the line that you're using, the fewer the wraps that you'll want to use. So this is 40 pound uh, braid right here. And so with this one, I'm gonna probably do nine wraps down the main piece of wire and also over the tag. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I actually might go 10 on this, 10. This is relatively thin braid. And all I'm gonna do is come right back up through that loop I made earlier. Okay, so you can see the two, the main line and the tag of the main line are running parallel to each other. I'll wet this down and now I'm just gonna slide this knot up into that loop. I'm gonna pull this baby tight. And you'll see the line kind of turns color once that knot is complete. So that thing is cinched in there. You can see that it's really a, a tight, tight knot here. So from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip this tag of the titanium as close as we possibly can to the, the base of the knot there. And just be careful so that you're not clipping the main end of the titanium as well. So we'll clip that guy off. And there we go, we've got the knot. But there's one problem with this knot that can happen is if you're hand landing a lot of fish, as close as I made it to that tag there, if you run your hand up here, it's really close to the knot, but you can still feel that there's a, a sharp little edge here. And this could do two things. One, the line could get wrapped around here and you could have line failure. And two, believe me, I've done this. I've gone to grab the, the leader and then this slides through your hand and it, and it cuts a hole in your hand. So to prevent that from happening, I always carry a little bit of this in the boat. This is Solares, and this is the flex formula. So all I'm gonna do now is take and add just a little drop over that tiny piece of wire shank that we've got there exposed. 
So just a little drop over that. We're good, and then you just have a UV light. If you're doing this in the boat, I just turn my back to the sun, I do this in the shade, and then simply expose this, this resin to the sun, and it'll cure in just a matter of a couple seconds. So I'll put that on there. And now I've got that little buffer that's gonna prevent me from getting cut and possibly cutting my line. That simple, that resin is done. So now I'll show you how we would end up tying a bait to this. Like I said earlier, this is tieable titanium. So often I'm using a pretty short lead. So in this case, you know, I've got like a foot leader here. And the knot you tie for this is just simply a clinch knot. So I'm gonna go through the eye of the jig in this case. Of course, you could put a snap on here too if you didn't want to be tying all the time. But I found a lot of times with this stuff, if you're fishing um, a jig or even sometimes like a, a rattle bait or something like that, I just feel like you get a little bit better action. But that's just my opinion. So coming through, now I'm just going to wrap one, two, three times. That's it. Just do three wraps up, and then we're going to come back through the original loop that we created above the eye of the hook. And then you'll need a pliers. For this portion here, we're gonna grab that tag and then we're just gonna slide. We're gonna pull that knot tight and that's it. You might think, well, that's a you know wimpy knot, but I'm telling you, this knot does not fail. It's a bulletproof knot and once you get that thing snugged in there, you're in business. Then I'll just leave a little tag on the end of it. And now I've got this really super thin light wire leader that allows my baits to move really, really well. I'm getting the most action I possibly can out of these baits, and I'm preventing any bite-offs in the meantime. So if you like finesse fishing for muskies, you're fishing for northern pike, or just fishing in areas where you've got a chance of bite-offs, this is an absolutely deadly system to employ, and I can promise you it will be a tool that will help you catch more fish. So thank you so much for watching this content. If you like what we're doing, please hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, leave a comment below. We appreciate your viewership, and we'll see you next week.